Well, folks, here we go. It's uh, it's getting late. This bad boy's been on a while. It really does smell fantastic. I know it's dark on top. Um, we've had a lot of uh, temperature control things going on between the wind uh, and uh, everything else, but there's nothing wrong with this beauty. That's just flavor. So again, uh, dry rub, salt, and brown sugar. I'm going to use that one hand method and I'm just going to smoosh it into these cracks. Right now these cracks are just channels of fat and all that fat's doing is running down like playing Plinko right now with your uh, ham. And you want to get as much flavor running down those crevices as possible. So be liberal. All of this will end up on there in some fashion. Um, I, if you remember, I've been boiling the uh, the juice that's been coming out of there, and that's thickened up as, as much as it looks as if it might be a little thin. That's really well flavored. We're going to keep pumping this on here. Um, the idea is we're going to create a little uh, candy-coated shell. Um, you know, you want to get it in every crack. You know, in the crack on the back, whichever way it works here. We want to get this done. Um, so again, we're got letting that fall into place here. Um, if you can see, there's a spot here that I'm missing. I'm just going to tip the bowl onto that. And every single thing that was in this is now on there. We want, you know, no stone left unturned. I'm actually, at this point, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crinkle. Uh, is a technical term. I'm going to crinkle crinkle this bad boy. See, I've kind of changed what's going on here. So the water isn't just going to steam out. It's going to kind of, you know, get this whole thing going, this Mount Vesuvius of uh, action. This is the cleanest hand I've got right now. I'm taking my lid off. Uh, I know you can't really see it, but right now we've got a nice, you know, Smokey Robinson going over here. We're going to drop this whole thing. Boom, look at the control I've got with that. It's not that hot when you do it that way. I'm setting that right over the log. So, you know, I'm putting it right on the fire source at this point. The the coals have really tempered down. It's it's the equivalent of about maybe, yeah, maybe a 300 degree oven. Cover it up. I'm keeping the, uh, the holes to the opposite side of the fire still. I'm making the smoke spend some time in the kettle before it leaves. I don't want it to just go straight up and out the holes. I want it to come up, fill, go through, get the juices going, dripping down, and then just kind of pop right out of the end, just a little, mm, right there. 